In this reaction, an alcohol is added to a strong concentrated acid and is heated. In the first step of the mechanism, the alcohol or base donates its electrons to an acid in an acid-base reaction or a proton transfer reaction to form the protonated alcohol or oxonium cation. Let's redraw the molecule to show the carbons and hydrogens. This next step is the loss of the leaving group, water, to form a secondary carbocation. An E1 product could be formed after this step. The proton transfer reaction would produce a monosubstituted alkene, but in this reaction, it is only produced in about a 3% yield. The reason this is produced in such a small yield is that the more energetically favored carbocation rearrangement occurs very quickly and the more stable tertiary carbocation is formed before any significant amounts of E1 product has a chance to form. Let's redraw the molecule to show the adjacent beta hydrogens. Elimination can occur by abstracting the hydrogen atom from the adjacent methyl group to give a disubstituted alkene. Or the adjacent tertiary hydrogen to form the tetrasubstituted alkene. Since the tetrasubstituted product is more stable due to hyperconjugation, this alkene is formed in the greatest yield. You could also say this reaction produces the Zaitsev product in greatest yield.